We run in a facility today to test Bosch's new gun, visual gun detection. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're doing um, how, and how we're testing all this? Yeah, absolutely. We're super excited to have a field evaluation going on here for our gun detection system. So if you can see behind us, uh, it's a three camera system. Uh, so we have the visual gun detection cameras on either side here. Uh, this is so that we have two opportunities and multiple perspectives uh, to see a gun. Uh, guns, unfortunately, when they're head on, are very difficult to see. So this ensures that we have a broadside shot of the gun. Uh, the other thing is because guns are relatively small, these cameras are zoomed in to a small area. So, so we all also- At a choke point. Absolutely, like, okay. absolutely. But we also have our panoramic camera for situational awareness. So we're seeing the whole broad area. We can understand how that potential threat behaves even outside of the gun detection zone. Uh, this camera also does gun shot detection. So if a shot were to go off outside of the visual gun detection range, we could still get notification based on that event. Yeah, we're going to test multiple weapons here. So you can see we've got uh, a long gun, which in, in many of the active shooter situations is, is really the, the main uh, fear for a lot of facilities. And uh, this system's great at, at, at finding that. We also have some handgun testing that we're doing. And then one of the other things that's really important with these kinds of systems is not always getting them to go off, but getting them not to. So we're also going to be doing some evaluation with common items like a coffee cup, a cell phone, uh, things that often trip these kinds of systems, but we believe we've done a pretty good job of suppressing. Okay, let's go check it out. So here you can see we've simulated a funnel point, uh, like an approach point that you see to many buildings. Uh, in this case, it's about 16 feet wide. Our limit is about 30 feet. Uh, anything beyond that, and we would want to use multiple systems concurrently. Our first tester is going to be uh, with a long gun. This is the easiest detection, but it's also uh, kind of the most common threat that we're looking for. So here you can see we have our threat approaching our funnel point. Uh, again, we have two opportunities to, for detection from these two uh, cameras, as well as that general overview with the uh, panoramic camera. Next, you'll see a little bit tougher detection. This is uh, with a handgun. Handguns are difficult simply because they're small, and uh, we've got to get the right pixels on target. So here we have sort of a different kind of threat uh, coming through our funnel point as well. But you'll see with this system design, we're able to get even difficult weapons. As I mentioned earlier in the intro, there is also uh, the challenge of false positives. So there are a lot of common items that people might be carrying that could be mistaken for a weapon, even by a human. So here we have a person walking through our funnel point with a coffee cup, uh, but we're able to suppress these other common items uh, that in other systems could be mistaken for a gun. The most common such item is cell phones, particularly in the K through 12 space, high schoolers, uh, everyone has a cell phone in their hand and uh, we don't want to create a bunch of false positives based on cell phones. So as you can see, that uh, item is suppressed in this case. So now that you've seen what our threats approaching look like, we're gonna take you through a view uh, from an operator's perspective. So on the screen, you'll see in the top left corner, the four images are from our visual gun detection cameras, the two outdoor on the top and the two indoor on the middle row. The other three images, the two smaller ones on the right, as well as the panoramic on the bottom are all coming from our panoramic camera so that we get total situational awareness of the scene even outside of the relatively narrow fields of view of the gun detection cameras. Now we've moved inside of our gun detection simulation and we have the opportunity to show how this system layers. So not only are we layering audio detection and visual detection at the funnel point outside, but we've also duplicated it inside. So this inside detection can be used as an alternative to, or even as a supplement to metal detectors. It has the benefit over that kind of system that it's much more transparent uh, so that the facility doesn't feel like a fort or a prison. As our first threat approaches, again, we have the long gun. So you'll see we have a detection on the camera on the right, now a detection on the camera on the left. And as this threat comes in the door, we're getting additional detections. It's important to note that we don't necessarily need the system to detect on both cameras or continuously. As long as one of the cameras goes off before the threat 
can pass through the funnel point, we have succeeded. So again, here we've got the handgun, much more difficult detection, detected both outside and inside the door, as well as that total situational awareness using the panoramic camera as the person enters. Here we've got our coffee mug, pretty common. As you can see, completely frictionless and transparent solution. Uh, a non-threatening person with a coffee mug or a cell phone just walks right through without any alarms or false notifications. It's also important to note that this system is designed to stand entirely alone. So while we are showing inside of a VMS, uh, it can operate independent of a VMS or in multiple other VMS platforms.